You probably remember Jeffrey Brown from the Jedi Academy series that has come out over the last couple of years, a perfect graphic novel for third, fourth grade Star Wars fans. Well, Jeffrey Brown has also always been interested in prehistoric times and Neanderthals in particular. And he thought, wouldn't it be fun if he set a new graphic novel series 40,000 years ago with a brother and a sister and a small family of Neanderthals who are going through the same kinds of things that all kids go through. They pick on each other, they fight, they have to be bossed around by clueless teenagers, their parents don't really take them seriously, Lucy wants to be an artist, and Andy wants nothing more than to go on the hunt for mammoth, but they just continue to get into a little bit more and more trouble based on all kinds of goofy things that are happening. Right now, I just got to page 100, and they are supposed to be babysitting their little brother, Danny, who has crawled out of the cave and is wandering around um, in the woods and just got um, hunted by a wolf, uh, but his fearless cat, uh, this guy right here, who's just hilarious, um, saved the day. Meanwhile, Andy and Lucy and the other two teenagers are trying to find Danny before the parents come back and figure out that the kids have sort of uh, blown it. The book is hilarious. I have laughed out loud so many times, and I even read a couple of panels to Jade, and he just thought they were funny too. Um, we have gone on a bit of a mammoth hunt, and he got to watch from the bushes up above, and it was uh, pretty traumatic for him actually to see it. And we have uh, cooked food and made tools, and gotten a glimpse into what prehistoric life might have been like. And the other thing that's really interesting about what Jeffrey Brown has done is we are in the world with Lucy and Andy and their family, but then at the end of each chapter, there are panels with modern day paleontologists and scientists uh, talking about what the life for the Neanderthals was actually like based on fossilized evidence, uh, cave art from 35,000 years ago, tools that they have found, bite marks on teeth. So it's a really great blend. There goes my clock again. <laughs> There's a really great blend of science and history actual knowledge with a lot of comedy and hijinks and the exact same kind of stuff that kids go through when they're dealing with a know-it-all sister and a bratty younger brother uh, and all of the trials and tribulations of being 10 and 12 years old. So fans, of course, of Dire of a Wimpy Kid and of the Jedi Academy are going to fall head over heels for this. I'm looking forward to the remaining pages uh, of laughter and wondering what's going to happen, if Andy will get to go on the hunt, if Lucy will get taken seriously, how they're going to find poor little Danny before they get into trouble, and of course spending time with their cat, who I just absolutely love. So I hope you enjoy this uh, glimpse into Lucy and Andy Neanderthal from Jeffrey Brown at page 100, and I will see you next time. Take care.